What is going on, everybody? Your friendly neighborhood saying is back once more, ready to react. Now, some of you may recall, last we left off, we left off with Infinity War, which you basically, most of you guys already know the premise of that. The Magus, Adam Warlock's evil self, like, comes, like, through with the cosmic cubes, like, a bunch of cosmic cubes. It just starts wrecking house, but eventually they're able to fuck his shit up and beat him back. Some of you may also remember how excited I was to see what the Infinity Crusade was all about after reading the Infinity War. Now, I want to point out before I go in, this is all my opinion. I am not speaking officially on anyone's behalf. This is simply all my opinion. Now, with that being said, this story was a massive fucking step down no it wasn't a step down as i like to quote a great friend of mine in the discord it was a swift nose dive into the fucking grand canyon compared to the previous like other stories that's how bad it was to me i i wasn't as much of a fan of it as i was of the uh, previous ones and basically what happens is adam as usual there's always somebody that senses something's fucking amiss but Adam senses that once again, things are afoot, chicanery is afoot again. And he basically goes to confer with Eternity, who essentially tells him, fuck off, it has no concern to me, it's not my problem at all, and it, those of you remember, similar fucking situation happened in Infinity Gauntlet, so take that for however you want to take that. And afterward, Adam's met by like this weird, feminine, like glowing, like flame goddess, so to speak who happens to be quote unquote Adam's feminine good side apparently so and she pretty much just blasts him away to limbo and that is where we go from here and instead of bullshitting out I'm just gonna cut right to the fucking chase of this is like why this didn't impress me as much as the previous stories did first off the villain is garbage i absolutely fucking hate the goddess as a villain i didn't find her nearly as charismatic or charming as per se the magus was or thanos for that matter she was super bland i i just i i couldn't get behind her and it's weird because this is apparently supposed to be warlocks like good feminine side quote unquote apparently but they make this case that like without the evil side that like she's batshit insane pretty much they don't really show it as much in the story but around the end they start showing it a little bit more but she just it was bland i i it she didn't like it didn't like intimidate me or made me go oh jesus fuck or it didn't scare me it, it she didn't make me do any of that throughout the entire story or maybe it's just me like to me to me personally maybe it's just me the whole like religious villain trope to me is like garbage and it's like a piss poor excuse to like make a villain like something like oh this is a religious crazy zealot I, I don't really buy that kind of bullshit that's just me personally and then the second primary thing to me personally was the humor was how shitty the ebb and flow and like the humor was of the story it's like one moment the story's supposed to be like i don't know i guess it's equivalent of whatever it thinks it's supposed to be like super serious and dark and then the next fucking second you have a bunch of the avengers and fucking avengers hq attempting to give the fucking pip the troll a fucking bath as a torture method so to speak because he's an asshole and then from that to a next moment where you you're about to have like this super serious moment and then out of nowhere again Pip the troll because apparently he's been getting such a hardcore push in this story for some reason temporarily and actually would have became the king of everything if it were not for one fail safe that the that the goddess just happened to have right next to her like it's stupid it's dumb like okay if you want to have some humor in your story like go ahead like you know feel free to like put some in the story but don't make it to the point where it's cringy and on top of that it it's fucking trash like i'm sorry nobody gives a fuck about pip the troll nobody does when he comes to the mcu nobody will still probably give a fuck about the pip the troll because that is how fucking worthless he is and i'm absolutely abhorred you know how like mr g star one two three has his hatred for bo rai cho that's me but with fucking pip the troll that's me right there to a fucking t i absolutely fucking hate this dude and i cannot stand that he got as much of a push with the story and how much humor 
this that was involved with him and the story. It fucked up the whole ebb and flow of things. And whenever those like little soft moments that happen, those two moments I described, like the torture scene and Pip actually becoming the king of everything for a split second, that completely took me out of the fucking story. Absolutely. It completely took me out of the story. Like when I read that, I was like, what? Huh? This is supposed to be the follow up to fucking Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet, where like where everything was on such a sheer like scale of like magnificence and desperation. This is supposed to be the follow up to that from that to like and then they do this weird thing where like I guess like death like Mistress Death and Thanos are finally able to figure out like what the goddesses like grand scheme of things is up to. I don't know if maybe I fucking missed something in a panel or two, but it never becomes clearly evident. And it's like, okay, the only implication I can draw from the gods is that, like, she's batshit fucking insane. And is that... But at the same time, is that what Mistress Death is laughing about? Because if it is, it's fucking stupid. Because, again, you had the mages who was doing all this fucked up shit to the universe. You had Thanos that was doing some of the most vile shit that we have seen in comics to date and mistress death wasn't impressed by any of those two but you mean to tell me like she's supposed to be impressed and like cackling like crazy all because of a fucking goddess all because the fucking goddess is insane really because that's the only implication i can draw that's the only implication i can draw as to what her the goddess's like true motivation is that's the only thing i could draw to and it just, it, it felt like a step down. It felt like a step down from, like, the shifting of tones to how much of a garbage villain the goddess was. All of that, like, makes it a massive step down for me, and personally. In terms of, like, Infinity War and Infinity Gauntlet, this is, like, a massive step down to me. And it's like, yeah, man, like, I, I, I can't even give this a full price or rental. This is some old bullshit straight up this is some old bullshit with like especially when jim starlin was still working on this like he was still in for this one like just like how he was with infinity gauntlet and infinity war and it feels like a complete fucking step down from the previous entries like i don't get it from like the villain to the writing at certain points to the tone it's 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 weird like i don't get it I don't, I absolutely cannot for the life of me get it. Like, it's super weird. And, um, quite frankly, I'm, I'm disappointed. I really am disappointed. Like, I was expecting to come in and, like, see, like, you didn't have to, like, be greater than Infinity War or Infinity Gauntlet. You could have been on the same scale at least. But this story for me wasn't even that. This felt like a step backwards from the previous three arcs. If I fronted with y'all, my people, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. Yeah, man, this is some old bullshit. Straight up. This is some old bullshit. And it's heartbreaking for me, like, straight up. Like, especially when, like, I just started this journey about, like, a month or two ago. Where I started all the way at the very beginning of the Thanos quest. And we've gotten all the way from that all the way up to here. This is, like, the first time, like, I've been majorly, like, disappointed with, like, this whole arc as, like, a whole. But, yeah. Yeah, that's just... That's some old bullshit. There's not really a whole lot more that I can add that I haven't already said in the fucking video. Some old bullshit. It's gonna remain some old bullshit. Hopefully the next story, which I believe is called the Thanos Abyss, the next story of the event. Hopefully that will be better, but I, I'm I'm a, who knows? As always, if y'all like what I had to say, don't forget to like your likes, comment, comment, sub your sub share shares. And I will see y'all on the next video and as always peace and chicken grease